Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions report. This weather brought to you by the Widowmaker. Find them upstairs in the base lodge and find this and much more at our website, wskitv.com, on all your internet devices. Well, for the day today, you're going to want to bundle up. Partly sunny skies out there, so it'll be beautiful out there, but just windy and cold. As you can see, summer temperatures well below zero for today with some gusty north-northwest winds. Down here around the base, we'll see temperatures only in the lower single digits with the northwest breeze 15 to 30 miles an hour. So be sure to take breaks, wear the face mask, uh, those mittens rather than those gloves, and uh, have those hand warmers and take frequent breaks out there. Just be safe with the cold temperatures. Increase in clouds for the day on Saturday. Then we'll see some afternoon snow developing after the lifts close. And overnight snow could see 4 to 8 inches, probably some more as well. Summer temperatures 1 to 5 and base temperatures getting into the lower teens. And that wind uh, shouldn't be an issue at all on Saturday either, which is uh, some great news. So it'll be cooler out there, but should be able to get out there and enjoy your skiing and riding. Light snow will taper off on the day of Sunday. High temperature of 28 at the base, 18 for your high on Monday with mostly cloudy skies. Things clear out a bit for Tuesday, and then those temperatures drop once again with highs only in the uh, middle sig single digits. Birchwood Interiors brings you your trail report. Check them out in Village West or online at birchwoodinteriors.com. 62 trails to ski and ride on nine lifts. Can you those ones? 50 trails on the groomers list. Nice packed powder conditions out there. About seven inches of new snow in the last 48 hours. That's going to groom in great, and you'll still find some fresh stashes out around the hill as well. Snowmaking continues on Drop Line, West Mountain, and Windrow. Want to let you know Lower Winter way is closed today because of that snow making on drop line and narrow gauge is closed uh, today for racing. Timberline, bridle chain, tote road, spur line, gondola line, wedge, as well as haywire on the groomers list last night. King's Landing, hay burner, a couple passes on skidder, narrow gauge, comp hill, spillway and sluice all groomed out as well as candy side and boardwalk and all the trails lower on the mountain around the base area all nicely smoothed out for you. For today, Hallback, Ramdown, Choker, Flume, Widowmaker, Wiffletree, Two Hall, and Slasher over on the east side should have fresh stripes on them. And Scoot over on the west side of the mountain as well. And Stomping Grounds and Skid Road get work every night as well. 8.30 this morning, Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway. Those three lifts will move you around the base area if you're just learning to ski or ride and all groomed out as well. All that terrain will be nice and smooth for you. Double Runner East gets going at 8.30 for the public. And that gets you to runs down uh, Boardwalk and drops you off at the base the skyline uh, be sure to remember that lower narrow gauge is closed as well as lower winter's way is closed today super quad skyline gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain pretty much anywhere you want to go you can head over to the east side higher up on the east side king pine uh, with grooming on hallback as well as choker widowmaker and flume and ram down and then you've got timberline which gets going at nine o'clock with uh, access to the timberline trail which should see some great views but very cold temperatures up there today so be aware of that open for skiing down to sugarloaf outdoor center they should have great conditions down here down there call ahead for the ice rink uh, snowshoeing should be great in the woods as well they've got rentals for everything that they offer down there and great eats at the blue moose bakery and cafe variable conditions out on the uh, single track uh, fat bike trails so expect some drifting drifting snow as well as uh, maybe consider going out and snowshoe packing the trails as well today to help out the groomers once they get out after the next snowstorm this weekend. Blood drive is happening all day today, so be sure to take part of that if you can right over in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where we're at on social media, and we're always at our website, wskitv.com, with this latest local forecast, our live quad cam shots, so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain, and tons of videos of things to do to keep you busy while you're here in the main high peaks region.